comments and stories you're about to hear may not be suitable for some. Listener discretion advised. All right now, boys and girls, we want to introduce... Please allow me to adjust my pants. Woo, woo, woo. Listen to me. Run. Run as fast as you can. I'm gonna give you what you need. Get ready for BAM Radio. Let me do it one more time. Is Radio BAM? Fucking idiot. What the hell am I talking about? It's Radio BAM! And now... And now... Here's BAM! Here's BAM! Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, fuck yeah. I'm here with that. Uh, CIG, Novak, Red Mohawk, Orange Face, Mo- Monster Cock, and Franz. And oh. Franz just has the uh, most embarrassing story I ever. I said I didn't want to talk about this. Too late. Well, it's too late. You, right. we, I can't say it, and then you say that you're not <laughs> going to say it. We're going to yeah. be talking in circles, so let's just get yeah. to it. All right. Yeah, well, at risk of making myself look any worse than I already look. Too late. <laughs> the story starts a year ago. There's this girl in South Philly I've totally had a crush on. For like two years, right? So I'm at the bar, and you know I'm at this neighborhood bar. Now it has one bathroom in it. I'll get to that later. So I'm sitting there talking to her, and I'm making good time. I'm actually enjoying the conversation, believe it or not. And uh, you know, so we're talking and talking. And as as you guys know, I drink these Michelada drinks, which is a warm Corona over ice with a ton of fucking hot sauce. And I begin to realize I haven't eaten that that day yet because, and I begin to realize this because I'm compelled with the overwhelming urge. To shit my fucking pants, right? So I'm like waiting for somebody to Where get out of the bathroom. At? I'm at a little neighborhood bar in South Philly. I ain't saying. So <laughs> because they're gonna figure it out anyway. I might as well say it. But anyway, so so as soon as someone, I'm like, oh yeah, hold on a second, I gotta take a piss, right? So I go in there, and those of you who know me know I'm a fucking germaphobe. So I'm not uh, sitting down. I've yanked down my pants. Now it's my objective to get in and out of the bathroom as fast as possible before people figure it out. I took a shit. Was it like a shart or a full blown shit? Dude, it was like was it like a shit fart or w- a full blown dump even, in your pants? It wasn't even shit or dump. It was just projectile liquid. And like <laughs> it was like oh. in your pants. No, no, no. As I'm pulling down the pants and squatting <laughs> above the toilet, right? Yeah, I turn around and to my horror and dismay, come to the sick realization that not one drop. Got in the actual toilet, dude. Oh, it's everywhere, man. but it's on the toilet seat, on the back of the toilet, on top of the toilet, on the wall. It's on the fucking pastel painting above the fucking toilet across the room. Is it on your khakis? And no, belt? luckily yeah. it didn't hit me, but yeah, dude, it's it, everywhere. It, it, it definitely made you saw your belt, belt or pants. So it's, I go into panic mode. I'm grabbing paper towels, shit out of the tampon dispenser, fucking toilet paper, big wads. I'm wiping it down, and it's tiles. So nothing's getting absorbed by this stuff. It's just getting smeared bigger and bigger <laughs> and stinkier, dude. And it is the worst fucking most minging shit I have ever witnessed. So now I'm I'm two and a half minutes into this piss and realizing that I'm some. not making it any better. So I go into fucking triple panic mode. I grab a bunch of fresh paper towels and start sticking it <laughs> to the shit, right? Hoping that I'll cover it up enough so that I can make a clean getaway. Now. It's heavy with the shit, so now it's falling down. So it's now shitty toilet paper, paper towels everywhere. I'm trying to stuff it in the trash can. It's all over the side of the trash. Dude, it looked like a monkey cage at the zoo that hadn't been cleaned in fucking two months. <laughs> so, and, I, and I'm panicking, dude. I'm like, I'm like, I can't go out there. What if someone's waiting to get in? So what happened with the chick that you were all So into? I'm like, I decide to barge it. I fucking get out of the fucking door. Luckily, no one's waiting outside for me, okay? It's five minutes into his quote-unquote piss. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, okay, there's, I got to get out of that fucking bar before the next person goes in this little neighborhood bar with one bathroom and goes, oh, my God, who was just in here? And then all hands will point to me. <laughs> so I, I, I but at least you didn't have official shit on your pants, though, because then you couldn't even be able did. to chill with her. No, no, chill with her. I couldn't chill with her because I was waiting in horror for the next person to go in there and realize that I had, was the last person in there that did this whole monstrosity. Oh, wait, was, it, was it just one bathroom, like a co-ed Just bathroom? one bathroom oh. in a little neighborhood bar where everybody fucking knows uh, each that's other. That's not the one on the corner of your street that you Shut always, the fuck up. Oh, yeah. oh. I had some meetings there with you. Oh, right. oh, I know exactly. So now, so I finish my beer. So I finish my beer. I know exactly. And f- I finish my beer and fucking jet, right? And I don't go around there for fucking six months right because i don't want because i know that the next person who went in there they figure wait he was the last one that shit up the bathroom that dude who just left that dude france the viva la bam dude mr viva la bam ming has always trying to get laid off that book he brings in here 
right? <laughs> so now, so six months later, I stop in there for a beer. Everything's cool. Three months later, I'm stopping in there for a beer here, two beers here, right? Just last week, I'm in there for the first full-fledged time. And the girl's in there. And no one's pointing any fingers and everything's cool. And I'm like, thank God. Thank God no one remembers me. It's the dude who fucked up the bathroom and he's <laughs> himself. And so I'm a couple beers into it. And I say to this girl, I say, excuse me, I got to take a piss. She said, okay, but no pooping. <laughs> <laughs> Why me? I realized that for a fucking year, they no realized that I'm Joe Franz, the guy who shit up the bathroom, and that story has been circulating in my neighborhood for everyone, and I'd never had a chance with this girl with whom I've had a crush on for the past three years. Ha have you been back to the bar since? No. no are you ever no, going to go back? No. Like, no? Um, Dude, I was just, the worst. I was at the, the note, and there was a packed show. And I went to the to the men's bathroom, and it was like half locked, but half not like enough to like if you push hard enough, it'll just Let's open. Just come right I open it up. All I see is some girl with her asshole out, and she just and she just goes, Ew. and I'm like, you're in the men's bathroom, uh, and then she saw me, and she was even more even more humiliated that I'm the one who caught her. Like oh, she thought the door was officially locked, and she could sneak on into the men's oh, bathroom. Man. I end up like pressing real hard. It just winds up open. It's just some minging ass, <laughs> shitty, poopy butt. I'm, I'm actually glad you said that because I remember asking you one time, like, have you ever seen a girl in mid wiping of her ass? I've never, none of my buddies have ever seen a Dude, guy wiping a girl's ass. It was mid. You've actually seen it. You're the only yeah, person like, I know that's actually because, seen a girl oh, in If she was sitting down, then you could have claimed yeah, that she was just exactly. taking a pee. But no, she's bending she over. <laughs> mid wipe. So you know she was looking at the paper towel to make sure she got it all off, too. I had dirty You know work. what? She was painting the town brown <laughs> in the men's <laughs> bathroom. She dropped Leroy Brown off real fucking fast. You know, actually, no, Matt, you bring up a good point. What's you, that, my friend? Me, me and a buddy of mine had a debate as to how comfortable you are around someone that you quote unquote love. Okay, oh. he says the comfort level is signified by the uh, uh, the magnitude of bathroom you are willing to do in front of the people. So it's like, so in other words, if you can take a piss in front of each other, like that's cool. But like, if you take a shit and you're that comfortable with each other, then you're truly in love. Ah. And I disagree. I now, guys, guys, Man, I, I disagree because I don't want to see that shit. Do you, right. do you ever shit in front of missing? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like real drunk. I shit, I shit in front of Mandy, so that must be one true love. Really? So you guys shit in front of each other? No, she does not shit. I would never let her shit in front of me, but I'll have like I'll be in mid shit and ask her You're to bring dark. toilet paper in. Yeah, yeah. You know, like when, at, with the door open, I'll shit with the door open, not even hide. So, so, so. you're sitting there like so you wipe your ass yeah. and you'll look at the toilet paper to see it has the proper amount of poop on all that stuff you normally do. Yeah, she sees it all. So Dude, that means you're, you're you'll love. shit with the wow. door open right here. So you must be in love with this whole radio room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. Seth, what about you, man? What about you and yeah, Selena? Seth, I, wouldn't I mean, we could, but I wouldn't choose to. What's that? I, I wouldn't choose to do it, but we could. I, I mean, ha have you? That's yeah. the question. No. Okay. No. You really? No. Well, then they must not be in love. Yeah. There's yeah. no true love there. Like, you're not even in love with her, dude. What are you doing what with do? yourself? Fake marriage. Fake marriage. <laughs> Remember when, the, when we were filming Viva La Bam and every time the people would come in at 10 in the morning, you'd just be watching some big oh, they hate a it, porno man. on the big screen TV and he's like, Hey, hey, what's going on, DeVito? What's up, Matthews? Guys, I'm just jacking off. I'll be done in a minute. <laughs> Dude, it, 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 like, it got not the, even caring. It got to the point the where they hated me so much they had to end up paying me so I would listen to them. Because I wouldn't listen to them any other way. The if, best ever, though, was, was like, when... when uh, uh, Anna was already pissed oh. off at you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she was try. already mad at you. And then she said, all right, let's get this fucking scene done. She's, Novak, you come out and yet. deliver Bam the drinks, <laughs> and then he's going to throw him against the thing, and then we're done with the fucking day. What does he do? He comes out with only boots and a belt on with a shining, raging heart on from, from massive amounts of lube. I went into I went to Bam's room, and I'm like, dude, I'm going to come out completely naked with just boots and the drinks with a heart. I'm going to watch a porno and jerk off. And it got to the point where I almost came. So you know my dick was throbbing hard at that point, and I had no loose, loose like lotion, so all I could use was suntan lotion. So I was like this fucking throbbing white hard loop dick, and Anna contemplated quitting that day. She didn't come Dude, back for like a week and a half. She hated you. <laughs> Dude, she actually she had like she a really little she had like a little um notebook and a notepad yeah. and stuff like with taking a note. She actually oh, she actually threw it yeah. up in the air and goes, Why do I even deal with this fucking shit? Yeah. I, do not, I do not fucking get paid enough for this fucking shit. <laughs> fuck this fuck this fucking job. I don't need this. I have plenty of people with it. I gotta be a fucking fuck 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 Dude that was great dude. I just you know no, no back one of my the best things about Viva La Band was just when they when they refused to pay you when you first started coming on the show, just watching you 
fuck with people, dude. You and DeVito. Because uh, yeah, DeVito, get me a pizza, pizza boy. Uh, the reason was is because he was always around, but he wasn't getting paid, and he was also being on the show. So he would just be like, "Yo, Ravine, fuck you. Hey, DeVito, order me a pizza." You know, like, they got DeVito's like, "I'm." The I'm directing this thing. I'm not the guy who has to order people. Well, you you have to order it for me, <laughs> or else Bam's firing you. <laughs> I ain't doing the next scene. I know you got me written. The, the, the worst thing they could do to themselves is tell you you were written into the next scene, because it would just be held over their fucking head all goddamn day. It was perfect, dude. They actually just they were like, let's just pay him the smallest amount so he's on payroll, <laughs> yeah. and now he has he to, listen to listen to us. I remember I'll never I remember like it was yesterday. Anna pulled me up at Rex, and she's like. I got great news for you, Novak. We're finally gonna put you on Sally, but you have to sign. She even had a fucking written document that she had her lawyer <laughs> type said out. said you can't make fun of anybody I, I, anymore. She had her lawyer type this fucking a, a document out saying that in order for us to pay you weekly, you have to abide by our <laughs> rules and our directions. And if we give, if I or any of the people higher up give you a direction and you don't listen to our rules. You are fired. The best ever was when we were filming at uh, Ara Safford during the Hay Ride, and and people have to wait out in the woods like with their masks on to scare the uh, little kids on the haunted Hay Ride. And Franz is taking a time lapse, <laughs> and this guy is in the woods waiting for the next Hay Ride to come along, and he's just there alone. And he, <laughs> this is what he sung to himself: "Cock the magic dragon makes your cock come true." <laughs> <laughs> and, then he, and then he turns yeah. around and sees Franz yeah. filming. He's like, "Whoa." Hey man, how are you, how long were you standing there for? He's like, long enough to hear you sing "Cock the Magic Dragon." Cock the Magic Dragon. Cock the Magic Dragon. Yeah. That's Makes what he was saying by himself. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh That's man, even... how long were you standing there? That's weird Lo shit. Long he, enough he, to hear you sing "Cock the Magic Dragon." No, he was just standing there all alone, dude, just singing to himself "Cock the Magic Dragon." He, and he was so bummed out when he got caught, right? So I'm sitting there bullshitting with him, and he turned out to be a good friend of Rakes, right? So he's telling me that. So I'm like, yeah. So how long you been working here? He's like, uh, you know, I work here every. You you know, every Halloween, it's like cool, man. Like you know, I just sit here and drink out. You know, like sit here. We got we got some beer stash. You show me where they, they had the beer stash. You know what sucks though? There's no place to shit. With them. He's like, yeah, yeah. Now now we're best buddies. Yeah. Like, you know what sucks? Like when you really got to shit and like there's nothing to wipe. So like you gotta like pull off one of your socks, wipe your ass with that, then hide it somewhere where it's not near the beer where people are gonna know you wiped. <laughs> and I'm like, and he goes, he goes, y you know what I'm talking about? I'm like, no, actually I've never done that before. He goes, then you haven't lived. <laughs> If you haven't got stuck in the woods and had to wipe your ass with your own sock, then you haven't lived. <laughs> Fuck that us. sounds like one of You never bodies. wiped your ass with your own sock because you had to? <laughs> nah, man. Dude, you haven't lived. <laughs> Dude, Who would no. ever want to do that? My favorite Viva La Bam story, though, is just one I learned just last month. Is Brian Matthews, who 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 was the associate producer on Ming Hags the movie as he's well. He's a guy like but him. He, yeah, he's a great guy. Put stuck in his ass. I don't, but, I don't like but he's but <laughs> but now now it's 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 the tail end of the winter, so there's all this like you know melting snow off the roof, and he feels like a slight trickle of like water, and like everyone's watching him, and, and it just so happens that everyone was looking at him all at once because it's you know lunchtime, and he's like, hey everybody, it's raining on me. I'm singing in the rain. I'm singing in the rain, and like he's making this big spectacle himself, and he. Opens his mouth to catch this fucking trickling down rainwater, and everyone looks up and realizes that it's not rainwater. Bam is pissing off the balcony. <laughs> you pissed on his head? No, and his mouth! Ew. Willingly! Oh my god. I, I can't Ew. believe I never heard that. Oh, I wish Remember I when every, saw that. everybody thought that he was gay at one point because he never had a girlfriend and he never talked about being with any girls and stuff like that? So then he realized that we all thought that. So then he just goes, Yeah, man. With a girl the other night, <laughs> he goes, "What do you? I fucked up the ass." And, and he's like, "Well, you say, well, yeah. did you use a rubber?" Nah. Well, I, I, the reason why I did it is because I didn't want to get her pregnant. What about diseases, <laughs> dude? <laughs> yeah, you didn't want to get her pregnant, but then, what about hepatitis, <laughs> AIDS, warts, herpes, and everything else you don't want to catch? He's like, oh, then I Franz, never thought about then Franz it. just made it up and just goes, "Missy won't let you in the house anymore <laughs> because of what you've done." <laughs> He, probably, he, he really believed it. Yeah, as you say, probably like, like lurked in the driveway all day long, just wanted to come in so bad. No, he was so bummed out. He goes, well, his big thing was, he goes, oh my God, I never even thought about that. No, I'm going to get tested. He's panicking. He's like, whatever you do, 
don't tell Missy, please don't tell Missy. I don't want her to think, <laughs> I don't want her to think any less of me. I was like, okay, then like that's we the have... first person you tell when someone says that. Right, don't, right. don't tell them. So like I, I got I had to call him up, you know, about the, the schedule and everything for Ming Hags. Like you know, a couple hours later, I was like, yeah, and, and you know, we're gonna do A, B, and C. Here's the timetable. And I was like, uh, just we're about to hang up. I'm like, oh Matthews, by the way, yeah, <laughs> I talked to Missy and um, she'd appreciate it if you just didn't come around anymore. Oh, <laughs> and, he goes, and he goes, not fucking funny, dude. Not, he wasn't even. He didn't crack a smile, dude. He was like, not fucking funny, dude. Not funny at all. He just woke up to ruin that man's day. So, Dude, he was the only guy when I broke both my ankles. I had who to cared? Take, I'd have to take, yeah, who actually cared, for one. But I had to take a shit. He literally put, picked me up, put me on the toilet, helped me wipe my ass, and take me off the toilet. No, no. That's why, I, I swear to God, that's why he's a stand-up guy. My Matthew's coming to wipe my <laughs> ass. <laughs> Wait a minute. That means, according to our, our prior conversation, that means he loves you. That does. Because he's going to take a shit. Hey, my be you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You two are in love. I don't, I don't know. He's not that famous enough for me to join in case. You're with a mohawk. Him. You got a beard? Yeah, dude. So, do we, are we, uh, we got any people on the lines today? Well, wait. I, you know what? Yeah, we do. I got I to gotta call uh, Evil Jared Hasselhoff of the Bloodhound Gang yeah. right now. We'll get him they, in a second. They're playing. Uh, here, you want to take down the number? Oh, they're playing in Baltimore two days before they play here. Yeah, anybody on the line now? Hello. Howdy. Yo. Going, by. What's going on? This Bam? Yeah. Bam, what's happening, buddy? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, buddy, what's up? Yeah, buddy. Bam, I got a great idea. What? What's that? It does sound I like a bullshit. Tell us should duke it out. Put that what? Shit on He's from Canada. Out. Who should duke it out? <laughs> you and Jason. Ellis. Yeah. I don't have a problem with him. <laughs> no, I know. You guys love each other. It's great. Still. Jack no, I, no. You're, you're, <laughs> still. You're, you're, you're thinking about Novak. No, no. They were the one with the problem. Go back. Hey, too. Anyone. Fight Novak on the air. <laughs> Anyone should fight. Well, okay, well, well, the problem well, is, well, if Novak did fight Ellis, <laughs> Novak won't fight back, so he yeah, would just, just get, get his ass out. kicked. <laughs> No, have you, getting paid have you ever fought back at uh, ever? No. I just I work on defending myself. <laughs> As Franz, he saw me kicked up. He got, I got I got my ass kicked. By the way, thanks for the comment, caller, but that probably won't happen. Yeah. <laughs> but, Come on, dude. Uh, but uh, um, Franz saw me kicked up by like how many eight Italian dudes at yeah, once, it was big a lot. time. Did you even throw and one punch? All I worked on was defending myself. I was getting kicked in the head, the ribs. I mean, I was yeah. getting shit beat out of me at every angle. Yeah. And all I did was defend myself. So, no, you know what, Bam? I did fight once. I, that's when I punched Witch's name in his face because he was calling for backup, remember? What's that all about? Scott, oh, yeah. I, 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 I broke my hand on, I, and then I broke my hand on fucking uh, Chase in the kitchen. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, broke, yeah, yeah. I, I fought twice, yeah. <laughs> I'm too pussy. What's the new phone number to call here? It's, isn't it like 866 porn bag? Oh, they changed the number? Yeah. Oh, it's not 877 porn no. It's 866-porn-bag. Bag a now. new new Bam Radio eight six six porn bag. I just said that it might not be true. You know, I I really like going going to the lines eight, seven, and, seven. and talking to talking to the callers. But like something something used to happen. It hasn't happened in a while. And we're like, you know, we're sitting there talking like all this trash, like fuck and cum and shit and balls and farts, right, guys? Now let's go to the lines. Um, hey, Bam. Um, hi. I'm four years old and I love your show. <laughs> like, uh, like, luckily that hasn't happened in a while, but uh, you know, s sometimes it is a little inappropriate for like little kids to be calling. Um, I'm four and uh, <laughs> I like it. Um, you doing any more Viva La Pit? <laughs> <laughs> I think we just got talking about the fucking sick. I think stuff. we got her on the line right now. Put her on. Okay, go ahead. What's going on, babe? Hello. Yep. Where's she at? Hello, caller. Hello? Yeah. Hello, hey, what's up, man? Say it again. Hello? Yeah. Hey, caller. How's it going? Caller. <laughs> Good. How are you doing? We're doing great. We didn't call you, dude. Stop <laughs> sucking his dick, Franz. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, I got a question for uh, Bam and Novak. Yeah. Uh, how do I uh, get in the Nidiot Club? The Nidiot Club. Uh, I, did, I, did. <laughs> well, I don't think that night can ever be recreated. Yeah. I that was just a wild night, and uh, I think you have to ask Villa Vallo of him, and he lives all the way in Finland, so that's going to be tough, number one. And then you got to track Cat down. Then you got to try to. Shit. Yeah, then you got to track down Novak in Baltimore, yeah. which is impossible because yeah, he always loses his phone. I got my phone in my pocket right now. <laughs> but I, yeah. Maybe if you stick a hot poker up your ass and rip your dick off, you could join the Nidia Club. Yeah, you got Oh, yeah. Yeah. That yeah. sounds like a mm. good idea. <laughs> uh, he's, from he's from Canada, too. Hey, are you from Canada? 
No, I'm from Minnesota. Uh, I was going to say, uh, if, you're, if you're from Canada, you got to check out LostBoysInc.com. <laughs> oh, awesome, come on. Awesome, awesome, <laughs> clothes, 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 clothes. awesome clothing company. Check it out, guys. Really? Yeah, yeah why awesome. don't you just buy an element shirt? They give me yeah, money. <laughs> but definitely get the element. But seriously, Lost Boys. Bam and Seth with it. All right, thanks, thanks for calling. <laughs> hey, front. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> let me imitate you with your dad when you were, when you were okay. what, six. Okay. <clears throat> um, Daddy. What? <laughs> Can you um help me with my uh homework? Jesus Christ, you stupid shit! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, didn't your mom go? <laughs> no, yeah, my my mom. Once, at one point, my mom, my mom, she she wanted uh what was called a, a Bailey's Irish Cream, but there's also another product called Harvey's Bristol Cream, which is, I think is a coffee product. And so my mom's like, hmm. You know what? I, and I never forget. We were watching like a George Carlin thing in like 1986 on HBO, and she's like, "You know what I'd like right now? Some Bailey's Bristol Cream." And he's like, "And your dad just goes, goes, Jesus Christ, you stupid shit!" <laughs> <laughs> he had a tendency to overreact. However, he was a great provider, provider, and loved us uh, very much. <laughs> he actually but he, he, he did have some... a tendency to overreact a bit. Yeah, he actually said in this tone. I'm calm, I'm calm, I'm calm, I'm calm, I'm fucking calm. <laughs> Basically, if like you, you're so not calm. If you've seen Ming Hags the movie, me playing the teacher was my impersonation of my father. <laughs> That's literally what my dad was like. Do you miss your dad now he's gone? Uh, well, he's been dead for, he died of a heart attack uh, New Year's Eve in 1998. I just asked if you missed him, for and, Christ's well, sake. You know what was weird? Is that I, I, seeing his station wagon in the driveway produced such great amounts of stress. <laughs> it took, it, it, eight years after he died, yeah. even though he was dead, I would see the station wagon in the driveway and be like, oh, man, dad's home. Like, there's going to be an argument. And then I'd be like, wait, he's been dead for eight years. Like, it's weird how that stimulus never never Please, leaves you. Yeah, what no. the fuck was he so angry about all the time? It wasn't he was angry. He just came from a very, like, poor and fucked up family, and he never... He never learned to deal with his emotions. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a nice way of saying it. Oh, man. Evil Jared's on the line. Yeah, Jared. fuck yeah. Let's talk to him. This is Evil Jared from Bloodhound Gang. Hello? Jared. Yo. What's up? <laughs> Yo, where you been? I've been in, I've been in Speaktown. Are, are you I still ran, living I in... ran away from America. Are you, so you're unlike, living in... Unlike the rest of you suckers, when George Bush was in there, I ran away. I ran all the way over to Germany. <laughs> <laughs> well, Nazis were preferable to hang out with than Republicans. So you're, you're living by Berlin, right? Yeah. Don't, I, don't I, you have this whole uh, uh, business going on? It's called Drunk Bus? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We got a bus. You come over there, and you can get totally fucked up on it. And, you know, like, it's shit. You, the, if you tried it in Pennsylvania, you'd get arrested for it. Are you making, yeah. are you making good money on yeah. it? Uh, no, it's shit money, but we get to get drunk every night. <laughs> yeah, aren't, aren't you, aren't you fucking, aren't you with a model or a fucking, uh, triple X broad or whatever, uh, uh, you, some, uh, some <laughs> you're blowing his cover. <laughs> <laughs> Jared, Jared, where are you right now? I can, I, I can hear some commotion in the background, Jared. What is, what is going on in the background there where you are right now? Uh, you're right some... in the middle of practice. <laughs> well, we have, we have shows this week. I think we got a show at that band bar. Yeah, and, uh, I, you're, at, you're at the note on uh, on Valentine's Day. Bloodhound Gang yeah. sold out show. Oh, yeah. We're having a Valentine's Day massacre over there. A, and, two days, uh, and two days. A, we haven't played together in a year and a half. B, we have a uh, new guitar player because the uh, the old guitar player Lupus. Uh -huh. I don't know if you yeah. remember that guy, but he he came to the conclusion that we're all assholes. And he would rather sell real estate than ever be in a band or talk to any of us ever again. What a horrible time, what a, what a horrible time to make that decision. Yeah. You guys are playing so, in Baltimore two days before you played the note. No, yeah. we're playing in Baltimore two days after. Oh, it's two days after the note? Monday. Okay. Yeah, Either way, we're first. gonna we're, we're raging big time oh. on Valentine's Day. Shit's going down. Shit's going down, Jared. Hey, Jared, oh, yeah. we, we were wondering, we were wondering, buddy, uh, if you could clear up a rumor that we've been hearing. Um, what, what's going on with Antony and, uh, the bagger? Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Apparently those two, like, broke up. I thought he could do better. <laughs> <laughs> I think the bagger thought he is a huge radio star now, because he's been on your show, and I've heard him on some other shows, and he is convinced that he is such a huge star now, he doesn't need his management. He can manage himself. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want Antony getting his, he didn't want Antony getting his three and a half percent anymore. So he cut him off. <laughs> it's three and a half percent. Sheesh. Hey, do, do they still have that uh, that evil Jared bar out there? 
I remember remember they had like like an evil Jared themed bar out there in Germany. <laughs> Mm, I don't recall that. <laughs> are you sure that you sure this exists in Germany and not just in your head? <laughs> you're just thinking. You're thinking about drunk bus. I know that's what you think about the drunk bus. Really? So, that's what, so I what do you just do? You just play like loud music and just drive around the city and get all hammered. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we just get, get all fucked up, and, you know, the drunk driving laws are a lot less uh, less stringent <laughs> over there, so the driver is drunk, too. And oh, we get drunk to Jägermeister and just cruise around the city completely drunk. And, like, people think when you go over to, to Europe, like, Amsterdam is the place to go, because you can get away with anything, with, with the hookers and the drugs and the beer, but, but Berlin is really the place to go over there. How much does it cost to get on the drunk bus? The, the bus is free. You just get on there and get drunk. It doesn't cost you anything. So what we do you, what do people pay for? How do you make money out of it? That's what I'm saying. Because we sell drugs on the side. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit, I'm getting on that bus. <laughs> I guess ecstasy costs three dollars a pill over there. We're selling it for fifteen. Ah. <laughs> 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 We're bringing it in. Well, book me up for a month worth of tickets. <laughs> you, guys, well, you guys are still thinking like Americans. You're in the midst of a the uh, press economy over there in Europe. The economy is booming. <laughs> They're thriving off of America's pain. <laughs> all right, well, shit, everything's shit over here, but it's all taken care of over there. All right, well, thanks for calling. We're we're going to uh, play a Bloodhound Gang song now because they're playing at the Node on Valentine's Day, so it's sold out. So if you're tr going to try to get a out, ticket, so if you don't have a ticket yet, you're fucked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. All right, well, let's rock. All right, take all it right. easy, Jared. Thanks, hey, Jared. Jared. All right, later on. Uh, peace. All right, Where's this it? is Bloodhound Gang. This is called Sex on the Beach at Night, track seven. Oh, I made the video for this. Oh, stop bragging. Look at me. Me. Look at 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 me. It's about this, like, uh, maybe four or five-year-old kid that just got out of the dentist. He is, like, high as a kite on nitrous. I wish I could be like him the rest of my life, man. And he just doesn't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> Hold on. We're, we're hooking it up right now. Hey, man, you watch this Is morning. it funnier to see or hear? No, it's both good. It, yeah, it's, it's equally as good. This is YouTube. But basically, yeah, it's YouTube. Basically, the picture I'm looking at is just some kid passed out in the back seat of a car yeah. with a seatbelt on. <laughs> when and are so, you looking at that and picture? A visual. <laughs> and a some, visual. And some father loving the fact that his son's high as a kite. Is that what it is? It, I, I, I haven't seen it yet. I'm just looking at the picture. Oh, yeah, you got to see it. All right, here we okay. go. It's, it's so, so visualize oh. this, if you will. A kid go? passed out in the back seat. So you just got to listen to it. I didn't feel anything. Yeah. <laughs> Kind of felt good, didn't it? Uh, He's in the back seat all. Is, is this real life? Yeah, this is real life. <laughs> okay, now. Okay, now I, I have two fingers. Good. Good. I have four fingers. Four fingers? No, uh, 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 don't put that in. Don't put it in your mouth. Okay. <laughs> This is Baby Novak on drugs. <laughs> go to, go to David, David after Dennis. I can't see anything. <laughs> yes, you can. Dude, this kid is bonkers at the age of four. And his dad. Stay in your seat. <laughs> <laughs> That's me when I can't get my fix. <laughs> I don't feel tired. You don't? <laughs> it's like Darren no? in the back of the bus. <laughs> Darren? <laughs> uh huh. Yes. On my teeth. Yeah, don't touch it. Don't. <laughs> Why can't I touch it? <laughs> because it'll mess up the stitches. You have four eyes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I feel funny. <laughs> Why is this happening to me? It's okay, bud. It's just from the medicine. Okay? <laughs> no, no it won't be forever. <laughs> I kind of feel for the poor little dude. I kind of feel for him. Fuck no. Kids get like out of time. You ever notice a kid in the backyard who spins around as many times as he can? 
And then they say those are kids who oh, grow, grow up to become drug addicts. They spin around and then all of a sudden they can't stand still and start wobbling. Well, hell, you must have done that then. I did. <laughs> That's like early signs of a, a upcoming drug addict. What? <laughs> I, I swear to God. That, really? That's my favorite toy. That's made it up. Spin. That makes sense. That's the, if, did, did you ever try to like hold your breath as long as you can until you pass out? No, uh, no, have you? I figured you'd probably do something like that. Michael Hutchins did. Have you? Michael Hutchins did that you from In Excess. What's it do to you? <laughs> what, does it get you higher or something? No, it makes you like... It cuts off oxygen to your yeah. brain. So, like, you faint. Uh, no, I don't play with that shit, because I don't Why like that. Why don't you ask this lesbian if she ever hung or something? All right, let's talk to a lesbian. Do it when you jerk off. Leslie, you're on the line. Corey. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Hello. Corey. Hi. So, uh, so you're a lesbian then? Yes, I'm a lesbian, and <laughs> so is my sister, and my dad is homophobic. <laughs> your dad must be proud. <laughs> <laughs> when did, um... I fucking it. <laughs> when your, dad, your dad's a faggot and you and your sister are lesbians. No, my dad's not literally a faggot. Oh, okay. <laughs> when, now, when, when, did you, when did you first uh, realize you had homosexual feelings? Um, <laughs> a long ass time ago. <laughs> when I was 10 last have you, year. Have you and your sister ever got completely shit faced and made out with each other? No, I was sober when I fucked her. <laughs> and let me guess this, Corey. You're the one that wears a dildo, am I correct? No, actually, I'm fem. I'm the girl. Really? She's 19. Yeah. Shocker. Now, let me ask you, does your lesbianism ever compromise your relationship with your female friends? Like, like for example, like, you know, when you, when you could be consoling them, let's say, if they're having a breakup, do you find yourself trying to get down their pants using the emotional yeah. vulnerability of the moment, just like a guy would? Sometimes, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you dirty. Did you really thought. fuck your sister? That's really disgusting. <laughs> uh, Are you serious? Novak's into it. I know. <laughs> I fuck my cousin. Are you? Did and you your seriously? Mother. Have and my mother. I did you mother. really have <laughs> sex with your sister? You fuck with his cousin and his brother? <laughs> no, no. Missy's asking if you really had sex with your sister, for real. No, I've never had sex with my sister. Oh, that was a lot. You <laughs> she had sex with me. <laughs> so you don't like you don't like guys one bit, or maybe sometimes. Wait, what? Do you like guys at all? No. What if the mood's right and there's like candles and Stevie Ray <laughs> Nicks playing in the background or something? <laughs> Stevie, Stevie Ray Nicks. Yeah, unless it was Bam. <laughs> right. All right. All right. So there you go. Now, so what, what if we got candles and Bam candle. in the background? <laughs> then you're ready to go. Candles and Bam. <laughs> That's all it takes to get this broad's pants down. <laughs> See, I, don't, I don't understand lessons that like dildos because then they still the like dick. Yeah, but they like a girl to do it. Yeah. Now, now, caller, what would you say is the oh, single right. sickest, most perverted <laughs> Corey. act? Corey, what is the sickest, single, most perverted act you've ever performed or had performed on you? <clears throat> oh, oh. Be honest, be honest. Because France has done worse. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Go on, tell us, please. There's too many. <laughs> just think of, just right the, now, off the top of your head, what the is it? The sickest, dirtiest thing. Come on, babe. I don't know. <laughs> yes, you do know. Come on, you can tell us. We won't tell anybody. Front, Jesus. What are you trusting. Trying to fuck her over trusting. there? Trusting. <laughs> trusting. Trusting. Would you Petting. Would you are trusting. Lap the sap of Hillary Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> Throw, throwing tongue darts in her butthole. <laughs> I don't. I don't think this girl's gay. She's, I really don't think she. Because I, I. I know lesbian girls, and they're, they're not. They're not as reserved as this. How really. old are you, Corey? They're not. I'm 19. You're 19. Do you yeah. film yourself fucking other girls? Yeah. <laughs> you know, and you're the you're the taker. You're not the giver. No, I'm both. Do you watch the L word like Missy? The L word? She's like, uh, that's you know, a good text. The L word. Lesbian. The L word on Showtime. She not a lesbian. Yeah. Yeah. Test question final. She's a lesbian. Who's your favorite actor on the L word? The L word. Nah, you're not. You know what, Corey? You know what? Nick Nelson. Faker. We got a faker here. <laughs> I'm not buying this. I'm no, 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 no. I'm going to say it. I'm not buying this yes or no game you're playing with. It's either you go into gory lure detail or you don't call him, babe. What do you think of that? <laughs> yes or no. We got to play yes or no lesbian. Come on. We're not playing guessing games here, sweetheart. I'm sorry, but, but airtime is very valuable. L is for lame. <laughs> ah. Face to face. Lane is tribal. But Lane must <laughs> always be tribal. Don't forget that, you fake, uh, fake uh, okay. lesbian. Do, do we have a real, uh, do we have another caller, Chad? I don't know. Put by the way, by LostBoys.inc. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, and exactly where is Lost Boys merch available? Canada. No, but their stories are different. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, let's play a song. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> and, and if there's any real homosexuals or real lesbians, we'd love to talk to you, especially if you're not going to put us through a yes or no tr- the 20 questions. All right, Novak, here's a good question. Would right. you rather have an iPod? Yeah. Or a gay guy pod? Or a bipod? Mm. Um... <laughs> Probably a, a bipod. Well, how hot would the bipod be? Like Brad Pitt or Johnny Depp hot? <laughs> All right. Would you rather go kayaking or gay guy acting? I'm fucking kayaking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a fucking moron over here. Where's my iPod? Where's my bipod? Now, Seth, Seth, it. you used to know a lesbian, a lesbian couple who, correct me if I'm wrong, who had an agreement. And the agreement was they could go out and get a uh, dick Delivered. anytime they wanted, so long as there was no emotional attachment, just because they still needed a male organ plunge within them. Is that true? Yeah, they, they actually had a, a mutual friend who was that guy, who was that piece of meat who would stick <laughs> it to his or her, and that was it. You know, they're just buddies, and they'd hang out and. Maybe have a cup of coffee before and after, <laughs> but that was it. That was just uh, just for that, just for dick purposes, nothing Shit. more. And the moral of that story is that all lesbians do need dick, or was it just them? I yeah, don't, they I, don't want, yeah I wouldn't Wait, say all of them of, do. But. Speaking of morals of stories, I have a story <laughs> that I heard about you. Steve-O told me when you oh, no. when, when you were in India going through the X-ray machine at the airport. <laughs> Yeah. Out comes all these girls' panties out of your bag. What's that about? Panties and porn. That was when I was going out with a smoker from Jersey. Oh, you're <laughs> such a liar. She wanted me to... It was, is that, and I think it's per, more perverted than that. They all fell out all over panties, the... Panties, porn, and all poppers. Over the not, only, not only that. <laughs> and but the there smokers, was, too. They probably they were, smell like Marlboros and shit. <laughs> they were... <laughs> burn, burn marks she in them. Put, she would put her used... Burn marks in the thong. <laughs> she would get ashing all over him. I need a cigarette. She would put used and period underwear in my <laughs> stuff. Ew, in my ashes all over the love. period. Shit. And that you loved makes her. you love her even more. You loved you, her. No wonder you're fucked. You're still talking about her. You love yeah, her. I, you, you guys brought it up. You, you probably can't. saved it with all this period blood on it and all this discharge and stuff. You're yeah. into that, you little the funny, the, funny, the funny thing is, we were in a country when porn <laughs> and women's underwear is illegal. Like, you can't yeah. even have that shit. You just can't let that alone in the can't let that, can't There's let two more lesbians uh, on one on is online two and I can't believe Steve O remembered that. More on three. There's lesbians all over the place out here. Okay, let's take another lesbo. Can we introduce <laughs> them to each other? Yeah, maybe we can put them both on. What's going on, babe? Let's talk to one of them. Talk to us here. Radio Bad Hello. Love Connection. Hi. Hello. How you doing? I'm good. Who's awesome. your favorite who's your favorite character on the L Word? I'm sorry, what? Your favorite character on the L Word, who is it? Um can you say that again? Your favorite? You, you know the L word? The TV show The L Word? Oh, I've never watched that. Yours? Oh. I think yeah. we're getting fixed So what here. makes you a lesbian? Um, the fact that I know when we were in high school, me and all my friends that were girls, we'd just like be sitting down watching a movie and be like, you don't want to make out? Just randomly. You and ride we'd horses? Fucking, like, pretty hot. Like, Did you eat the puss? Yeah, we'd like fuck each other on like our parents' beds and stuff. What do you, what, do you, <laughs> what, strap on? <laughs> strap on? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you, you say you fuck each other. What, what do you, scissor kids, or you put strap-ons on? <laughs> well, no, we didn't have strap-ons. We were in high school, man. So you, like, you didn't have finger, strap-ons you back finger, then. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> cool. I think you can have more fun with your hands in your mouth than you can with any piece of plastic. This yeah. girl's right. All right. <laughs> I like this girl. Hey, so hey. now, now, would you ever consider, I mean, do you Well, she doesn't like you, guys? Franz, because she's Why a lesbian. Why would she? I know. I'm, no, no, I'm asking. Would you ever consider going out with a guy, or are you straight, are you straight lesbian? No, I'm not a total lesbian, but it just depends on the person. It depends on the person. Mm -hmm. It really does. Like, it it, sexually, it depends on the person. Like, with a girl, I want, like, a little fucking, like, semi-innocent little girl that I want to, like, I don't know, violate. But if it's a guy, I just want to be... Go to jail. (laughs) But if it's a guy, I just want to be fucked like I deserve it, like, all animalistic and shit. (laughs) Well, you you sound intelligent, but where are you from? I'm from Minnesota. Oh. Jesus. (laughs) Who's your favorite author? Oh, favorite author. Joe mm-hmm. Franz. Dr. Seuss. Stephen King. Stephen King, okay. Your favorite... He's a lesbian. Your favorite what the com- fucking point is that? I, I, I was going to see if it was you, asshole. Stephen Obviously, King. Dream Seller sucked, in her opinion. <laughs> Stephen Lane. We're talking to a lesbian Stephen King has fuck. a lesbian haircut. We're having all these great fuck stories, and you ask a favorite oh, lesbian author. Author. My dick's half you know hard what? over here. That's why I don't let my, you come around. I know. Around. My dick's half hard over here, and he says, who's your favorite author? All right. All right. <laughs> what the fuck? Mm-hmm. Keep asking perverted questions, pervert. Vivaldi or Mozart? <laughs> yeah. Dad, have you done any paintings lately? Am I what? <laughs> Nothing. I was just kidding. 
Uh, well, I, I think it's time. Guys, it's yeah. time to play Baby Shambles. Oh yeah, I just had Mandy play on the way up here. All right. Oh, what yeah. a faggot. Thanks for calling, baby. I just babe. had Mandy yeah, play that. Thanks, God. Appreciate right. that. This is delivery off of Shutter's Nation. This is Baby Shambles Radio Bam Series 28. Yeah, Pink Boogie Boogie Land. Check out my haircut. Boogie Boogie Land. Boogie Boogie Land. Oh, faction, baby. Nice <laughs> guys. <laughs> And now back to Radio Bell. Uh, wow, wow, boo-boo. <laughs> Franz, you yes. said that you were just over Phil's house and he got ripped off from some magazine. Oh, <laughs> my God, dude. Like, so, somebody call Phil because, okay, I, I'm over the house and, like, you know, you know we're, we're, all, porn we're porn. all arguing eight million different ways about everything. April's pissed because she has to fucking work with, uh, with, with fucking Vince. Vince is fucking mad at Phil. Boof is, uh, like, you know, Boof is trying to be the mediator of the whole thing. And then Ape starts yelling at Phil. Well, who was the one that, with the $600? Joe, you gotta listen to this story. $600? Apparently, a guy came to your father's door at, like, sometime after dinner time, months and months ago, and talked your father. Why wouldn't Phil say, fucking get out of here? Talked like, your father so into nice. buying six. Hundred dollars of magazine subscriptions <laughs> on, on on the premise that that doing so would save Philadelphia. The more the more magazine subscriptions your father bought, the better financial uh, condition Philadelphia would be in. And and the guy starts selling him additional. So he had your your father up to like three hundred dollars. Then he's like, well, now do you have grandkids? You have grandkids. Oh well, then they'll like this and it's like great. Phil, are you are you here? Are you with us, buddy? <laughs> Somebody call fucking Phil. Well, it's probably it's probably like the same time you bought them speakers, bam. I'm calling Phil. <laughs> we're, Phil call, we're calling him. Phil, uh, uh, Phil, you know what? Normally, I take your side we're whenever there's an him, argument. Man. Phil, I we're, couldn't take Phil as, yeah, as much of a yeah, tight wad as Phil is. As much of a coupon clipper is. As much as he's he won't go to Wawa and buy a coffee because he can make a cup of instant for fucking seven cents and he has it all rationed that out is and everything. True. He saves ketchups from McDonald's. He'll ask for extra ketchups. There's a whole fucking drawer full of ketchup and maple syrup for McDonald's yeah. breakfast and lunch, and he spends six hundred dollars on on magazine subscriptions. So he'll never. Get... Phil, are you with us? We're getting them. Philip. You know, I just, <laughs> I'm not getting it. I'm not, I, I don't. You know damn well that dude drove straight to oh. Phil's house, too, knowing who. No, no, no. Not only that, he got, then after Phil's, he got the neighbor, right? Your neighbor calls, like, oh, there's a guy at my door. He says he just bought magazines. He says, Phil vouched for him. So then, then the guy fucking scammed the neighbor for 400 and then someone down the street. And One what? street, so, he got $1,000. And he, he never got one magazine? Not one magazine. Your dad's afraid to press charges. I'm like, dude, it's magazine subscriptions. That's a federal crime because they're using the mail. Every time you use the mail, that's a fucking federal crime. Your dad's yeah, afraid to call Phil, the police. Here's Phil. Phil. Phil, talk to us, hey. babe. Why the f fuck in Sam Hell would you buy six hundred dollars worth of bullshit magazines? If you met this guy, you you would have done it too. He was very impressive. He was going to be a counselor for Philadelphia and save gonna Philadelphia. Be. Keyword, Phil. Yeah. Gonna be. That's like the word trying. Hey, he showed me each neighbor. The no neighbors, uh, two of them did three hundred dollars worth, and uh, Gerald did two hundred dollars worth. Each neighbor, he got like fifteen hundred off our street alone. Gullible, gullible, gullible. <laughs> Phil, what, what the fuck magazines were they even? As a well, I told him I already get like hundred ninety up delivered per month, and he goes, "Well, how about renewing some?" So I renewed three of my favorites because he, he only had like thirty on his list. Did you even get magazines at all? Not yet, but uh, Joe, after you left, <laughs> the lady called me back and said, "Sir, give me twenty-four to forty-eight hours. I'll either give you your money back or I'll make sure the magazines start coming." And. Uh, they Phil. finally drive and talking to her for the past three months. Oh, I would go, call this girl go, go. once a week, and she sounded like she was on drug each time. I would ah, give her the, go, all the information go, go, go. every day, or every week, and say, all right, out of two forms, blah, blah, blah. And the new lady sounds awesome. She's going to take care of it. Now, Phil, <laughs> Phil, Phil, let's play a role-playing game. you're going to believe her now, too? I believe her because she was so, she knew, I threatened her this well, morning with a bounty the other guy who had said, so what if you threatened her? I believe her because she knew my address. You, you, you said that you believe the other guy, too. No, I knew the other lady was on drugs. I could tell every time I heard a message, she was falling asleep. So now there's a lady on drugs. There's a guy who you thought was nice that completely gypped you off. He did got... yet. It's not official yet. <laughs> it's not official. It's been six months. Phil, Phil, <laughs> lay, lay us the rap that the guy laid on you. Okay, you are him selling magazine subscriptions, and go. He's a black guy in the middle of a white neighborhood, right? <laughs> uh, All by himself, and he comes in. He was nervous to come in. I said, oh, come on. My dad's in here. I introduced him to Papa. <laughs> Abe was down at her mom's, and she wasn't coming home till like, 9 or 10 o'clock that That's night. That's why he bought them. And uh, he sat there and talked to us, and he said, 
I'm dreaming to be a counselor in Philadelphia. You know how bad it is in Philadelphia. I want to take care of the children. The more <laughs> magazines you buy, the better I'll be. And it, it worked. No, Novak, Dude. is that a scam you'd pull off too? I, I 100%. Actually, Phil, I brought up 3,000 pamphlets. I'm only trying to get 50 cents for them just because I need to help kids get into rehab in Baltimore. And I just talked to my counselor, and they need a donation. So, I mean, if you'd be willing to help me out, that'd be awesome. And Novak's dream is to be a good kid and I be a good Samaritan. Bucks worth if you need to. I see, I, see I just got 10 bucks out of your dad, and he knows I'm bullshit. Phil, Phil <laughs> let, let me ask you. You were compelled to mention that the yeah. guy was African American. Now, if he was a white guy, would you have sent him out on his ass? Like, no, did I you? Did you? Were you I wouldn't in... have bought as many magazines, I don't think. But he asked me, "Do you still go to Philly?" I said, "Now I'm a little bit afraid." I used to take my son down there every day, yes. and it's gotten worse. And he goes, "Well, I'm trying to make it better." And then I was done at 300. Then he says, "Hey, do you have grandchildren?" Then he had me 300 hours worth of grandchildren books. It's like the guy was good. He was. Phil, I ran scams for probably seven years straight. I swear to God on my mother that he scams you, and you will not see one magazine. No, no, the lady called me back. It's a professional company, and I'll call, I'll call you every day. I can call you every day and say you're going to get something, but I guarantee it doesn't show. <laughs> what about the lady on drugs? Now, how do you know it's a legit input, company? Have to tell you. Here she yeah. is. Here's if eight. the company's so legit, then how come how come they're letting her show up apparently on drugs? Because the girl I was dealing with was tricking him. She says, sir, I honestly fired her this week. I saw her note. She's been talking to you every week. I'm going to handle this. Give me 24 to 48 hours before you call your lawyer. Please give me 24 to 48 hours. And I said, yes, ma'am, I will give it to you. So when was this? The phone here. That guy is in Bahamas reading magazines right oh, now. shit. I agree. That guy's in Bahamas smoking your magazine. He's going to save oh. Philadelphia? Like who and what <laughs> army? That's why he needs 24 to 48 hours to get the fuck out of the country. Wait, hey. this is the same guy who gives me, he like rings me a new one because I didn't use the dollar off at the market. For three days, he yells at me, I can't believe you didn't take that coupon. And then I come home from my mom's and find out he spent $606 on, <laughs> on magazines. Man, you guys are gullible hey. dipshits. Hey, but, uh, April, 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 do not say you guys because I wasn't here. Your, t your tea's cooking. Now go grab it. April, you had the dollar off <laughs> coupon. Remember you had the dollar off coupon that you didn't use? Grab your tea and, cup. And Phil yeah, made you go back. It. Phil made you go back to the grocery store for, for a dollar. Yeah. Well, let me. Let me they're they're like, the tell April to fix her tea. The tea's going off in your house. house. That's Chad. Yeah, let That's me give Chad's. you the gullible one back. Yeah. Well, maybe you could sell him something like donuts or, or maybe bonbons or some paper with sticky tack on the back. Ape, I think I think what happened was um, Phil didn't want the guy to think he was <laughs> prejudiced. I don't I don't think I don't think Phil wanted the guy to think he was prejudiced because he was a black dude, and I think that Phil ended up buying all of the uh, subscriptions just so the dude wouldn't think he was prejudiced. Is that well, true? Why, can, why couldn't you just not let him in the house and say I'm not interested? Phil, why do you afraid. want why do you want magazines that, that like you don't even know what the fuck yeah, magazines you're buying? You're just like, oh yeah, I'll buy six hundred dollars yeah, worth of magazines. Neighbors called me and said. Uh, was he legitimate because uh, he told How would you know? Hours. How the Who fuck did you know he's legit? Who made you he was in my house for 45 minutes and he was only with them for 15 oh, minutes. God. They so they they he put the place. time in. He had to be legit. Phil, oh. let me just tell you, chalk it up as a loss because you definitely lost on this one. No, no, this so. lady called me back, sounded so official. I'm so amazed that I'm going to win my money back or my All magazine. Right, so. I'm happy guy. <laughs> he's going to win it back. Official $100 bet. The one that had you back. That you're not getting jack shit. Yeah. But, uh, I'll risk a hundred more I'm because I think she's too, legit. I, I want to put a hundred on that bet too. All right, when I get these magazines or my money back, I'll let you guys know. What you have twenty-four to forty-eight hours. How long has it been so far since it's twenty-four to forty-eight? She actually called me an hour ago. About seven thirty, she called me. About okay, half an hour so ago. So you have seven thirty in two days. You have two days. It's seven thirty within two days from now. If you don't have them, you owe Bam a hundred, me a hundred. You got it, but you guys owe me a hundred. Hey Bam, I never got the hundred from the Steelers bet. I got it in my pocket. Oh, you got it back. You have it. Yeah. Yeah, I never got that yet. I was looking forward to that. <laughs> what, to go buy more magazines? <laughs> yeah. What are you going to do with it? Go buy more magazines and, that are never going to well, show? Right, I, like track them down. I brag all day that I won bets. <laughs> now, Jeez. Now, Phil, Phil, I just can't believe that in the same sitting you were mad at Booth that she didn't use the uh, the, the twenty McNuggets for three forty nine coupons. You're screaming <laughs> out that. that. You're yelling that, about that, fucking that, coupons. You're, you're you're yelling about eighteen cents, saving eighteen cents on a coupon, and and now you're spending six hundred dollars on fucking worthless magazines that are worthless even if they did show up, but they're not showing yeah, up. Yeah, even oh, if you get them, you you won't learn shit from it's these six magazines. Six magazines for five years. That's worth that much, isn't it? But what, what, is the, what magazines are they? Yeah, what do they say? What's he it talk about? Well, he, he, he got Forbes. It talks about one ESPN. Forbes. You yeah, read these Forbes? These are like five years worth. One of them was health. <laughs> <laughs> well, where are they, Dude, butt nut? 
I know. It's just called Health. <laughs> Why don't health we magazine. Magazine. magazine? Why are you reading Health Magazine? <laughs> <laughs> Let me, did you ever look at your refrigerator, Phil? <laughs> Phil with fucking greasy cheesesteaks. <laughs> Fried steak. It was delicious. Yeah. It's a new place in town. It's good. What place? What? It's called Delco's <laughs> yes, Original. Now he's talking about a restaurant. Okay. Now he's plugging <laughs> restaurants. What are you doing, Phil? Wait a minute. Look, I, I'll tell you every magazine. I got the paperwork right here. I got Phil's eating fucking chili girls. cheese fries as he's reading Health <laughs> Magazine. <laughs> health with a Diet soda, Coke. Bro. Dipping it in ranch. With a Diet Soda. I got vacation magazine for six years. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's exactly yeah. what he's on. That's, <laughs> he's on a fucking <laughs> vacation for your $600. I got them all. I, I got six magazines. Turtle, Men's Fitness, Total Health. You got I, six I, magazines for $600. It's $100 a piece, Phil. Choo Choo Monthly. I'm helping Philadelphia. Philadelphia's not doing too well right now. It's going to turn Philadelphia around. <laughs> <laughs> you turn this one guy's apartment around. I know. <laughs> Phil. Do you really think that that guy has a flat screen He's going to go Philadelphia. turn Philadelphia around for $600? <laughs> yeah, right. He's buying a new TV. Yeah, I had charisma out the butt. He convinced me and the neighbors. I was the most. Yeah, I, two of them did three hundred. One of them did two hundred. I did six hundred. He made out pretty damn good. Did, did, you, hey, did you pay him in cash or check? Check. I wrote a check. It how long did it take him to cash that check? When, how long did it take him to cash the check? It was. I wrote it August eleventh. It cashed it two weeks later because he must have mailed into the right people. Uh, that's <laughs> what. What have you learned? What have you learned from Forbes magazine, Phil? What have you learned? I read that Forbes 400, and I know who the richest the people are in America every year. What? What? The Forbes 400, from... uh, uh, Gates is still hanging on his number one. you got that uh, Paul Allen right behind him. Right. What about that, uh, that what else? Muslim guy? What and then that guy that runs the Dallas Mavericks in there a lot, uh, Mark Cuban. <laughs> right. Trump's mentioned quite often. What about Richard Branson? He's in there. Hey, the virgin guy, he's in there all the time. So, oh. Phil, I was just reading about him that book. They said he's king. Phil, what did you think of the I new Viking Skull video directed awesome. by your son? Jesse told me it's an awesome brand new video kicking ass, but I haven't seen it yet. It, it is good. I, I, Jesse I saw told the final me it was edit very today. well awesome. My track. Eight. New Viking Skull video, everybody. Phil, it's time. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to sit here and keep telling you how bad you got ripped off, but it's time to go. Just accept the fact that you're Give me 24 hours, 48 hours, and I'm getting my money back. Go in my yeah, magazine. Yeah, right. Yeah, Bye, right. Guys. You're going to have two sleepless nights. <laughs> right. It's time Bye, to Phil. go, ladies and gentlemen. This is The Faint, and uh, we're signing off. Radio Band. Band. Series 28. Oh, Fuck oh, shit. Oh, 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 this isn't faint. It's fraud. <laughs> Bam Radio. Radio Bam. That's Radio Bam for this week. We're done. Tune in next week for more. You can leave now. It's Radio Bam. Radio Bam, everybody. Radio Bam, every Monday, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific. Email me now at Radio Bam. Why don't you uh, take a picture of your sweet white ass and send it on over to Radio Bam at Sirius-Radio.com. Call Radio Bam at 877-PORNBAG. That's 877-PORNBAG. Sweet dreams, Peapod. Bye, everybody. See you next week. Action. <laughs>